10th of 2008, I was just back from a trip when I saw this article in the House and Home section of the New York Times. And I was immediately drawn to it because um, I want to save um, the environment. I want to save electricity. I want to help in any way I can in my home. And an article all about the, the new light bulbs was very appealing. So I read the whole thing. I brought it in to show my producers. And here we are. We're with the reporter who actually wrote the article, Julie Shelfo. Shelfo. And uh, welcome to the show. Thanks for having and, me. And uh, in our audience... We have Andrew Revkin, who is the environment, uh, env environmental reporter for the New York Times. I'm happy to have you here, too. And this was a fascinating article. And the response to it has been phenomenal, I understand. Enormous. I mean, so many people want to buy bulbs that are better for the environment, but they don't know where to start because yep. there's so many out well, there. Well, this is the ABC, the 101 of light bulbs. And so uh, we're, we're going to talk about at least six of them today. Yes. And this one, the one, first one, I'll, I'll just put on a light. This is a Sylvania soft white 60 watt, 199 for four. That's cheap. Yes, it's first very of all. cheap. This is a traditional incandescent bulb. It's what okay. Thomas Edison made famous. That one. that one. And the way it works is that electricity goes into the bulb, electrifies a filament, and that glows kind of like a little fire. Yes. And so they're very inexpensive, but they don't last very long, and they're also um, highly inefficient because 90% of the energy they're consuming is released in heat and not light. Right, you can't touch them when they're hot because they burn you. Exactly. You can't take them out if it, if it burns out or you have to change it while it's on. You right. have to use it I, right. you know, all the time. I know all the, I know all the problems with this kind of bulb. Yes, they're beautiful. But it's a pretty bulb <laughs> and we're pretty. used to the shape. See, that's the main thing. We're used to a light bulb shape like this, little schmoo. We're used to that shape and we're used to the type of color that yes. is emitted. And yes. the new kind of bulb, which is a compact fluorescent bulb that looks like this, um, can often emit a color that's very similar, as mm -hmm. you'll see there. But the way this technology works is very different. The now that's a fluorescent. This is a compact fluorescent bulb. And so it doesn't look like those horrible fluorescents we all think about in laundromats at 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't think that's horrible at all. No. I just, I've, never, I've never hated fluorescents at all. But Wait. they should be shaded in a way or, or uh, concealed a little bit under a grate. And, and then they're not so bad, but they're well, good for the environment. Exactly. I mean, because depending on which kind of bulb you use, you can have a shade that's a slightly different color that really affects how it looks in your home. So these, the, the electricity runs in and it um, sort of activates gases, including mercury, which then have UV rays that illuminate a phosphor coating on the inside of so the So it glass. takes a little while for it to warm up and to get to the total brightness. Sometimes, but the, today... This one seems to go on right away. Exactly. Oh. A lot of bulbs today oh, are so oh, okay. great. This is a TCP. Okay, the ones I have in my basement, which were, I guess, the, the ori originals, and, there's, <laughs> and they don't burn out. Right. They Heat. haven't burned out yet, and I think I've had them in there for two years. Right. Uh, will they ever burn out so I can replace them? They will, but they last <laughs> uh, 10,000 hours, oh, okay. so they last far longer. And even though they cost a little more, these, for example, are $5 a piece, or you can get a four-pack yeah, for But they eight. last for 10,000 hours, as opposed to how many hours, basically? Basically about 1,500. Oh, so that's a very big difference. And it's a very big difference in the amount of energy it consumes. When you look at the light bulb box, for example, it tells you the watt. Oh, and yes. the wattage is how much power it's using up. So whereas a 60-watt bulb needs 60 watts to illuminate, a compact fluorescent, this one may take only like 13 watts. So you're gonna, mm. it's going to cost more up front, but you're going to save a lot well, of your a energy nice, That's bill. a nice size, too. This is a really nice size. And this gives you as much light as a, what, what size bulb? It's roughly equivalent to what you'd expect from a 60-watt bulb. That's perfect for a, for a bedroom side table or a living room table. Yeah. Now this one is a GE Smart 60-watt. Dimmable. Oh, see, that's good. See, dimmable uh, is something new because for a long yes. time people wanted to switch to compact fluorescents, but they didn't make dimmable bulbs. And if you put a regular compact fluorescent in a fixture that has a dimming function, it would burn it right out. And so this right, is a great thing. In my basement where I have the undimmable kinds, I have to go down there and we have about 10 lights. I have to go and turn them all to keep one on for the cats. So, so this would be good and for you. I can't see in the dark. Don't ask me why I don't turn the lights off. I just, <laughs> I, I have to go to the basement. It's I want you. one light on. It's That's right. <laughs> now, this other bulb that we're showing is a Philips halogena. And halogens work very similarly to incandescents. They're actually a form of incandescent. Oh, this is nice. But there's a little kind of capsule in there that takes the tungsten <laughs> that's burning off and um, puts it back on. So they last longer, and they're automatically more efficient 
than incandescence, but see, they're not even close. This as one looks, you can't see this probably on television, but this looks greener than this. This looks warmer. It looks warmer like the first one. And that's a, that's a beautiful bulb, but not as efficient. But not as efficient. Better than incandescent, but not as good as compact fluorescence, although the one Philips Halogena product is actually so good that it meets the energy standards that just passed as part oh. of the energy bill for 2012. Looks so that's like a my, great bulb. my new light bulb for my, for my silk lampshades, because, you know, it'll be, it'll be very nice. And it doesn't get hot. Uh, Actually, halogens get oh. even hotter than incandescent. Oh, no, they do? They do get oh, hot, no. so that is something to consider. Oh. I mean, the thing we learned with all of these was that it really depends on where you're using it. <laughs> see, these bulbs oh, are yeah, real innovations, and they're not something you're probably going to see a lot of, but oh. this one it uses something called induction technology that's as old as incandescence, but um, you commonly see it in places like the Holland Tunnel or on a bridge because it just lasts so long, like 50,000 hours. $49.99, by the way, for this one light bulb. Do not right. drop it. Do not drop it, but, it it's must gonna, break. but you're not going to have to change it for 30 oh, years. That's fantastic. And this, this one you But it is pretty ugly. Well, you know, that is pretty it ugly. depends on where you're going to use it and what kind of shade well, you I, have. On. I have many exposed light bulbs in my house. I have beautiful old light fixtures, and I want to see the light bulbs. Right. So that's why, I'm, that's why I'm always looking for that clear. Well, one thing you would like to know about then is that for the compact fluorescence, they actually make a covered version so that it looks oh. just like a traditional incandescent. Oh. And so one company is even introducing now a cover that snaps right onto the curly cues. So if you don't like how that looks, you can cover it now up. This one is, oh, $59. This is actually a very, you know, remarkable technological feat here. It's an LED light bulb. Oh, and LEDs you're used to seeing in clock radios in your car. It's a semiconductor chip that lights up and you'll be hearing a lot about it in the future. I like that. But it's that. very hard to put it in a bulb and this company has figured out how to do oh, that. And this is Lemnis. Lemnis lighting. It's called the Faro bulb. Oh, how so great. So it's more efficient than uh, uh, incandescent bulb. Uh, it puts out a different type of light. It only goes up as you see. It doesn't really go I down. I have to tell my bookkeeper, um, Heidi, I might be buying these light bulbs. Like that. These look good. Those look very nice from when you look at them from below. Very nice. Well, um, I wanted to ask um, Andrew Revkin, uh, how many readers did respond to this article? We had 120 people, and, and uh, there are a couple hundred thousand now reading Dot Earth, and uh, 120 took their time to write in a note about their experiences, good or bad, with these bulbs. Oh, and I'm sure you're going to get a lot more after this. Too. Well, we'll have to link up to Martha, your website, to your <laughs> blog, and uh, get some new some new rounds. Of yeah, input, well, this uh, is uh, it's very uh, it's very excellent uh, to have articles like this that are so informative and uh, really uh, lay out the lay out the story. In a clear and people fashion. can find it at New York yes. Times, at nytimes.com. Right. And there's more information also because um, compact fluorescents contain mercury. It's very important that they're disposed of properly. They need to be recycled um, or disposed of in a, in a good way. And energystar.gov has information. Oh, good. Well, thank you very much for this fascinating look at the new light bulb. We'll be right back.